Kozak joined by Lenny Leonard. It's four corner survival to kick off man up for Ring of Honor. Nigel McGuinness gonna start things off against Naomichi Marafuji, Chris Hero, and Claudio Castagnoli on the outside. In a four corner survival match, tags are necessary. The first pinfall or submission will win this matchup. Only two wrestlers in the ring at a time. And we have basically wrestlers from all different parts of the world represented in this particular matchup. Marafuji out of Japan, Nigel McGuinness out of England, Chris Hero out of the United States, and Claudio Castagnoli out of Switzerland. A matchup like this certainly exemplifies how ROH strives to bring the best talent from around the world into one matchup right here to kick off this pay-per-view. Although I don't know if I'd call Chris Hero the best in the United States. <laughs> Not exactly, but Nigel McGuinness and Marafuji at a stalemate on the very same page here in the early going, and Chris Hero really wants to get tagged in, apparently. Well, he knows that an important part of the strategy of a four-corner survival matchup is you have to be in the ring to pick up the victory. So, and this matchup brings a lot of strategy to the table. When do you tag out? Do you tag out if you're in the ring? You gotta be careful when you go for a pinfall. There's just so many different complexities involved in a matchup like this. Chris Hero legally tagged into the matchup as he and now Michi Marafuji circle. Of course, you always have to keep your eye on your opponents after hitting a big maneuver and going for a cover to make sure that two of your other opponents in the matchup aren't there to break up your pin attempt. Oh, when you're in there with Chris Hero, you also got to keep an eye on the entourage on the outside. Sweet and Sour Incorporated, Super Agent Larry Sweeney, the personal trainer, Tank Tolan, the Shimmer Women's Champion, Sarah Del Rey, and well, even Bobby Dempsey. Bobby Dempsey being whipped into shape by Tank Tolan, I hear. And so, so he claims. That's the rumor. That's right now. Chris Hero back to his feet, able to escape the wrist lock and brings himself back to his feet and once again and Chris Hero is a great athlete and showing his athleticism, agility. Oh, big headstand from Chris Hero. Uh, Hero's almost as good an athlete as he thinks he is. Good close, uh, no! Able to springboard off that top rope, back to his feet, and hey, Claudio's in the ring. And Chris Hero very quickly scoots out to the floor well, of course. after that display. Well, of course, Claudio hot on the heels of uh, Chris Hero after Hero attacking him at our last pay-per-view, Driven. Chris was watching this match on TV to see the actions that transpire there because they should not be permitted. Checking on the condition of his man, Chris Hero, who Larry Sweeney says is the top athlete in Ring of Honor. You just screwed that up. I'm sorry. In between me and Claudio at all times. I will make you pay. You will be, you say you're sorry, you will be sorry. Some tough love for Bobby Dempsey. It's always tough love. It's Chris Hero back up on the apron, stepping through the ropes. And rather than tie up with his former tag team partner, Claudio Castagnoli, Hero quickly tagging himself back out so that he doesn't have to do battle. I guess that's part of his strategy here in Four Corners Revival. You don't have to deal with your former tag team partner. The man that you turned on and aligned himself with Larry Sweeney. A man that broke up the team, you know, Claudio Castiglione and Chris Hero, former you know, World Tag Team Champions together here. And then it was Larry Sweeney breaking that team up, Chris Hero you know, taking off and signing with Sweden Sour Incorporated, leaving Claudio high and dry. And Claudio's done very well for himself as he and now Michi Marafuji going at it hold for hold. Snapmare brings Marafuji down to the canvas, trying to force those shoulders against the mat. Well, speaking of doing well for themselves, what about Marafuji here on pay-per-view? 2-0 in his ROH pay-per-view matches. We're looking to pick up number three here as well, I'm sure. It's a very important matchup for all four of the competitors involved. A win here could certainly propel them into world title contention. Great agility shown by Marafuji, walking that top rope, lands a shot on Castagnoli. Springboards to the top rope, and has hold of the head. Again, great balance shown here by Marafuji. A uh, test of strength between these two guys. Marafuji may have the leverage advantage being up on the top, though. But being brought back down to the canvas as both men are still with hold of one another, and now it's Castagnoli who has the height advantage in this particular pairing who had the advantage for the moment. Kicking away at the leg, the inside of the leg. Yeah, it looked, looked like it might have been low, but Marafuji made the gesture. He pointed the inside of the thigh, did not catch Castagnoli low, and uh, Todd Sinclair agreed with that assessment. Moving out of harm's way, and 
There's a tag to Chris Hero, who again wants nothing to do with Castagnoli, but takes out the leg and now just pounding away. Stopping to the chest as well, Hero starting to take control on Castagnoli. Of course, it was uh, Claudio Castagnoli defeating Matt Seidel back at Driven, and then immediately after that matchup, Matt Seidel signing with Sweet and Sour Incorporated. Yeah, and then Larry Sweeney, as soon as he turned around and had Matt Seidel in his camp, he sold him away to, to his buddy Vince. He turned a quick, tidy profit on the uh, back of Matt Seidel's sweat here in Ring of Honor. Hey, for Sweet and Sour, Larry Sweeney, professional wrestling is about making money. And it's because of the choice made by Larry Sweeney that you won't see Matt Seidel in Ring of Honor any longer. Nigel McGuinness and Claudio Castagnoli now stepping through. From face lock, quickly reversed by McGuinness, but Claudio right back to his feet, single leg pick up by Nigel, takes control of the ankle. Cartwheel by McGuinness and both men back to their feet. Two wrestlers very adept at the European style of wrestling as they exchange European uppercuts. Right in the center of the ring, neither man backing down. Block that attempt, ducks the clothesline, trying to roll up Nigel, but runs up on top of Castagnoli. As back and forth it goes, both men going for quick pins here. It's all about leverage and positioning as they exchange near falls. Both men trying to use their body weight to their advantage, forcing their shoulders down to the canvas, but unable to put them down for that final third count. It's again another sign of respect from these two athletes. As Marafuji watches on from the apron. Again, in a matchup like this, it's all about strategy. In order to win the match, you have to be inside the ring, but you have to pick your opportunities and decide when is best to actually tag in and go for a victory. And now Speaking Chris Hero, of picking opportunities, Chris Hero from the outside made the blind tag and now goes to work on Castagnoli. Ever the opportunist, Chris Hero. Off the ropes he comes, full force, kicking away at the side of the head of Double C. Hero, of course, extremely proud of himself, as he usually is. A bit of an ego on Chris Hero. Well, Larry Sweeney just feeds that ego and reassures Chris Hero that he certainly is the top athlete in Ring of Honor, every chance he gets. Big boot right to the side of the face this time. And he's got Castagnoli down, but only for an earfall. Sweeney knows how to take care of his meal ticket. Oh, without a doubt. Castagnoli trying to dig down now. Hero with the cravat. Snap mares, Castagnoli in position. Back sent on. All the body weight crashing down on the chest of Castagnoli. And a second by Hero. One more time. Down across the chest. You see Castagnoli trouble breathing. Covered by Hero, but only able to get two. Yeah, that takes all the wind out of you. Crashing down across the chest like that. But Castagnoli trying to hang in there. Catch his breath once again. And try to work his way back to his feet. What's with that outfit that Chris Hero's wearing? It looks very similar to what Bobby Dempsey has out on the floor, trying to drop weight. Except the big shiny crest on his chest. That's kind of flashy. Off the ropes. Back body drop from Castagnoli. And from behind, delivers the European uppercut to the back of the neck of Chris Hero. And Castagnoli likes to utilize that European uppercut. He's capable of doing it from many different positions, lots of variations, much like Nigel McGuinness with the Lariat. And Chris Hero quickly out to the floor, smartly on his point, because you can't get beat out on the floor. Big double axe handle off the apron to the floor from Double C. Castagnoli being very aggressive here, coming after Hero, trying to get some revenge on his former partner. But Hero firing back with the chop right across the chest. Back and forth, they battle. Keep your eye on Marafuji. Well, Marafuji saw an opportunity to insert himself in this matchup and did just that and may have changed the entire complexion of this match. He wants to go 3-0 on Ring of Honor pay-per-view as he continues the battle out on the floor. Nigel stepping into the ring himself. Nigel being urged by the fans here. You see him looking around. Is, is Nigel going to take a chance here? Nigel's not a guy you know, known to go high-flying here. But he's, climbing up the he's climbing up the ropes. Cassioli and Hero ball that into the crowd.
You know, as you said, Lenny, Nigel, not one known to fly, not known to take a chance like that, but it's all about working your way into title contention here in Ring of Honor. He's putting it all on the line and taking a chance like that, soaring over the barricade into the crowd and wiping out his opponents. Well, McGinn is certainly putting his body on the line and Marafuji back in the ring. And here too, the strategy comes back into play. Marafuji content to wait in the ring while the damage done on the outside. Exchange of forearms between McGinnis and Marafuji inside the ring. It's Castagnoli struggling back to his feet out on the floor. European uppercut by Nigel, backs him into the corner. Series of thrusts to the chest of Marafuji. European uppercut connects right on the button. Marafuji with a dazed look on his face. Head of steam from McGinnis with the boot to the midsection and an enziguri right on the ear. But Nigel's still on his feet. Big running clothesline, he's still up. Kicks away at one leg. And Marafuji finally able to take Nigel down and goes for the cover. Gets that shoulder up. And there you see Marafuji knowing no one else was there to make the save, went for a cover. More strategy coming into play. Super kick, connects right on the button. McGinnis went limp. Oh, he's looking for the sheer new way. He won his both matches on pay-per-view using that very maneuver. That's gonna be it, cover! But Chris Hero into the ring at the last split second to break up the pin attempt and save the matchup. Hero now looks to take control. The cravat on Marafuji. Breaks free and chops away at the chest of Chris Hero. What impact! Hero now with Marafuji. Drives him down to the canvas, hooks the leg. But there's Castagnoli to break up that pin attempt. Claudio just in the nick of time. Able to reach through underneath the bottom rope and force the break. You have to make sure that none of your opponents are around to break up a pin attempt when you go for a cover. As now looking for the El Pomare water slide, Castagnoli's got Hero up and crashing down. Again, only two as Nigel dives in to break up the pin. Now we said at the onset that you needed to make tags to enter the matchup. Todd Sinclair. Obviously. And there's Marafuji to make the save. Sinclair obviously making the decision to relax the rules a bit here as these guys are putting it all on the line to find a winner in this matchup. All four of these men want to come up with a victory in this four-corner survival so very badly. They want to propel themselves into the world title picture here in Ring of Honor as all four men struggle to get back up to a standing position. And it looks like Marafuji and McGinnis might be the first two men up. They're both in the opposite corners. It's Marafuji charged with a head of steam, but runs right into the elbow of Nigel McGinnis, headstand in the corner. Mule kick connects right on the chest. Marafuji right back up. Blocks that lariat attempt. Shot to the bridge of the nose. Off the ropes. Drives McGinnis face first down on the canvas. Just waiting for him to get back up. Waiting for the right moment to strike. Oh, what a kick! Cover! Right in the face. That's going to be it. No, Nigel able to kick out. Well, nobody was coming to make the save. McGinnis, though, able to get the right shoulder up. Marafuji looking to go up to the top rope. Nigel struggling to get back up himself. Back on his feet and takes away the balance of Marafuji looking for the Tower of London. And nails it. Covered by McGinnis. But Chris Hero breaks up the pin. Hero standing over McGinnis as Marafuji rolls out to the floor. High fence chopped to the chest of McGinnis. And a second, Max Nigel with the corner. Hero brings him out. Reversal by McGinnis. Puts on the brakes. Back elbow by Hero. Elevates himself onto the second. Cravat cutter from Chris Hero out of the corner. Pulls him to the center of the ring. And it looks like Hero is going to take another chance. This time climbing all the way to the top rope. Hero flies. Double stop right across the chest. Cover. But there's Castagnoli. What a display of strength by Claudio, but only gets two. Waiting for Hero to get back up to his feet. Castagnoli senses victory. Oh, you know it's got to be even sweeter if he's able to put Chris Hero down to win this matchup. Grabs hold of the legs. The giant swing from Double C. Hero back 
to his feet, but no idea where he is. Sinclair still going with the relaxed rules here. European uppercut to cover. Hero able to kick out as Marafuji getting back inside the ring himself, coming away on the back of Castagnoli. Another hard chop. Marafuji just measuring him. Reversal of the Irish whip. Just jockeying for position here. He's got the arms trapped. But Castagnoli with a boot to the midsection, looking for the Ricola bomb. He pins everyone with that Ricola bomb. Able to drive Marafuji down to the canvas, but he rolls up Claudio. Only two. Quickly back to his feet, another super kick right on the button. Wobbles the legs of Castagnoli. Sure we. Blocked. Up and over goes Marafuji. Boot right to the midsection of Castagnoli. Pulls him out of the corner, has the waist lock as Larry Sweeney calling some shots out on the floor. Trying to revive Chris Hero, but it's Marafuji with Castagnoli placed up on the top turnbuckle. Meanwhile, Nigel struggling, trying to crawl his way to the opposite corner as Castagnoli hung up in the trio. Whoa, and Marafuji might be looking for the coast to coast drop kick. Soaring from one corner to the other with very high impact on the drop kick. But Nigel McGuinness saw it coming and has Marafuji placed on the top rope. Ducks the lariat, but connects with the back of Marafuji. Chris Hero boots one and away. Lariat from McGuinness. And one for Marafuji as well. Top rope diving European uppercut from Castagnoli. Takes his attention to Marafuji. Ricola bomb. That's it. Chris Hero diving on top of referee Todd Sinclair. And Castagnoli is furious. Chris Hero's claw, he's claiming he tripped on a bottom rope. Oh, he was just too late to dive in and break up the pin attempt, so he dove on top of the referee, and look at that smile on his oh, face. He knew there was no way he was gonna be able to break up that pin attempt. Castagnoli charges at Hero. Forearm strike from Chris Hero. Off the ropes he comes. Bicycle kick from Claudio. Hero quickly rolls out to the floor. But McGinnis from behind. Duck of the clothesline. Springboard European uppercut. Jawbreaker Lariat. Here is your winner, Nigel McGinnis. Well, Claudio had the match won, but takes a loss because of Chris Hero and Nigel's Jawbreaker Lariat. A big win for Nigel McGuinness, who moves back into the world title picture.